Well, good morning, everyone. I'm pleased to be here with you all at this historic Old State Capitol to unveil this year's design for I Voted stickers. But first, I want to invite some special guests. I want to welcome all the young folks from Helix Academy. Thank y'all for coming out for an exciting event. You know, Louisiana voters are passionate about their uh, I Voted stickers. And it's no surprise, given how unique each of them have been, um, that they want them more and more. In the past, we have received national attention for our 2016 Rodrigue Blue Dog I Voted sticker and the 2018 rendition of the State Pelican by Tony Bernard, who was uh, mentored by Mr. Rodrigue. We're always looking for uh, wonderful people in our state who have contributed to the arts uh, and who are creators of their own art to be part of this process. Uh, this year, we have um, engaged and commissioned Ms. Becky Foss for the Louisiana State of Mind um, I Voted sticker. So the painting is what she brought to us as the Louisiana State of Mind, and then we turned it into a sticker. And so we're very excited to have Ms. Foss here with us in person. She and I were on the radio just earlier uh, with um, um, Jim Inkster. He would be really upset with me right now. <laughs> um, what we believe the sticker features is the aspect that makes Louisiana so unique in our country and in our culture. It is our, our state capital, which is just up the road from here and was built uh, because uh, Governor Huey Long didn't like this building anymore because it reminded him of the impeachment and the trial that he had to go through. Um, so he, in 18 months, he built a uh, very large capital that still remains as the tallest state capital in the United States. One of our the favorite parts of, of elections is the excitement that these stickers bring to people to show their pride uh, in their civic duty. Um, many people, obviously, going, when you're going around town, wear them, but also a lot of folks, as soon as they finish voting, they take a selfie and post it on their Facebook or their uh, Instagram or Lord knows which, which application they use now these days. Um, so we're really excited to, to unveil this and uh, I'm gonna turn it over now to the creator of Louisiana State Mine, Miss Becky Foss. <laughs> First off, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this process. It's always a compliment anytime anybody commissions me to paint something for them. And it's especially to bring their art and usually in their most sacred spaces, their homes. So, but an honor like this, I'm truly humbled and excited to be a part of it. To have my artwork in front of over 2 million people, vote, Louisiana voters is a huge compliment. And also I'm the first lady um, to be able to do this, number three, after two wonderful, amazing men artists who I admire and cherish their art as well. But I'm super excited about this opportunity. Um, I paint with really bright, colorful paint. I paint with bright, colorful colors. And I really just believe that my art is happy art. And I just truly hope that when people see my art, that they're able to escape anything that they're going through at the time. and sort of like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she clicks her heels and she escapes to the, the land of Oz. And I pray that, or, and, I, and I also hope that when people see my art, they experience the same thing. So, and I also hope that when people see the, the I Voted sticker, it challenges and inspires people who normally wouldn't vote to go out and vote. So um, I'm super excited, I'm from New Orleans. And if you'd like to know more about me, you can visit me on my website, which is my name, beckyfoss.com, and, or you can pass, through my gallery on Magazine Street. So thank you so much, and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. <laughs> well, Becky, thank you for your hard work. Obviously, it's you've done a great job. I have had a sneak peek, uh, as you would, might imagine. 
Um, let me go through a couple of things and then we'll unveil uh, the Louisiana state of mind. Election day is less than 85 days away and early voting is uh, 70 days away. Uh, early voting runs from October 25th through November 1st and election day, of course, is Tuesday, November 8th. The deadline to register to vote or change your registration uh, in person or by mail is October 11th and the deadline to do so online at govote.com is October 18th. Everyone has something on their ballot all across the state, so make sure you update your registration. If you aren't registered, make sure you register. Um, and Louisiana, go vote. How about we unveil it? unveiling the 2022 I Voted sticker. Uh, we're very excited about that. Uh, we commissioned Becky Foss, a Louisiana artist, uh, to do this, and uh, it's called the Louisiana State of Mind. What role do the I Vote stickers play? Well, they play a role in uh, allowing folks who uh, participate in the election by doing their civic duty to be able to promote voting and, and be proud that they voted and participated in the election. I wanted to paint our beautiful state capitol and I wanted to incorporate the spirit of our state, Louisiana, and I just wanted to incorporate all the bright, colorful, the brightest colors that I possibly could. So, How did you come up with the idea for this? Um, well, they they actually asked me to paint the state capitol, so I looked at several different inspirational photos, and this was by far the, the most beautiful angle of our state capitol. What goes through your mind when you take a look at the, at the painting and the I Vote stickers? Well, it gives it warms my heart. It, to me, it shows the, the colorful palette of Louisiana itself, both its people and its culture. And I think Becky Foss really put together a wonderful, beautiful painting that expresses who we are uh, and that voting is about our seat of government. Elections uh, in Louisiana have been ranked uh, by the Heritage Foundation as seventh in the nation for integrity. The Electoral Project uh, on, on the uh, liberal side has ranked Louisiana number one in the uh, south and twelfth in the nation uh, for our elections. And so we're very proud of that and we continue. We worked in the last legislative session and the previous sessions to continue to tighten up our processes and procedures to make sure we can assure the voters of integrity in our elections. What kind of safeguards are there in the elections? Well, we obviously, we, we we track our absentee ballots. We track our absentee ballot requests. Um, we check in. We, of course, have voter ID when you check in for early voting or on election day. Um, we make sure that uh, everyone who's voted on during early voting um, is not on the register for election day. That way they can't vote twice. Uh, and uh, during early voting, we check people in in real time so that they can't vote in any other part of the parish at the time. What advice do you have for uh, making sure people are registered to vote? Check your registration. If you haven't registered yet, uh, make sure you can go to govote, G-E-A-U-X, vote.com. Uh, check your current registration or see if you're registered, update your registration or register online. I'm a self-taught artist. I've been painting since 2013 and um, I'm, I'm actually a former hairdresser and I went to court reporting school. So it's funny that I stumbled into art about 10 years ago to relieve stress to pass my court reporting exam. So as we can all see, that didn't really pan out because I became an artist. <laughs> How long did it take you to uh, come up with the idea and then also to paint it? Um, to come up with the idea, it took me about a week to look at different photos and you know, just to gain different inspiration from different photos. And it took me about two, three days to actually um, create this piece. What would you say to uh, people regarding the value of art, uh, particularly in the public schools? I believe that art, especially the, actually the healing power of art, makes a huge impact on our children and on our schools. And I think that when kids are able to create and use their hands and stimulate their minds, I, it's, it's just all that we can hope for. There was a group of uh, students here today. What message do you have to students when it comes to maybe pursuing art? If I can inspire anybody and use my story just to follow my heart and my dreams and do whatever makes me happy, then that, that is my message. 
How can people get more information? They can go to our uh, website, sos.la.gov, and uh, they'll be able to look at the picture there, and, uh, and then they'll be able to find out how to get one, one when they go to the polls.